Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Inusor Education. Um, the purpose of today's lecture is basically to explain certain motivation which I have to start a completely new part, a new course actually, uh, which I would like to present on the same website, unizor.com. Now, I was talking before about um, the course, the first course which I put on this website was Math for Teens. The second was Physics for Teens. Now, I consider both courses relatively complete. I mean, I can add some problems maybe or exams in certain cases, but theoretical material is basically covered and I do recommend you actually both of them. Um, uh, I am a mathematician, so the first part, Math for Teens, was kind of no problems for me. The Physics for Teens, I had to learn certain things myself in a little bit more detail uh, way than, um, than I knew it before. But my purpose was to explain certain physical concepts from the position of mathematician. You see, uh, people who are involved in mathematics are usually fascinated with um, the way how math was built. Uh, there are certain axioms in the very beginning, and then we gradually built the whole building of uh, theories, um, logically uh, deriving the new things from the previous ones. And obvious example is uh, axioms of Euclidus. They put basically the base for geometry. Um, well, the axioms can be expanded, and they were actually expanded to make it a little bit more um, rigorous, I would say. But in any case, this build-up uh, from axioms to theorems and to more complicated theorems, theorems, etc., is extremely fascinating way of building the theory. It seems to be the right way to do it. Physics not always was built this way. But I was trying to present the course, Physics for Teens, in relatively the same fashion, which means I had certain axioms like three laws of uh, Newton, for example, for mechanics, and then built the whole um, theories uh, one after another uh, using whatever has been already kind of covered in the future, uh, future lectures. Now, Speaking about theory of relativities, um, you see, I was always fascinating, uh, fascinated with how um, Albert Einstein came up with certain ideas which seemed to me um, very strange, but again very attractive, like time is changing if we are switching from one uh, observer to another who is moving relative to the first one. Um, lengths are changing, um, paradox of twins, uh, which we will cover as well. And even when I was in high school, actually, I was trying to read the books about um, theory of relativity. And it was interesting, but I cannot say that I understood everything. So today my purpose is to bring to, well, relatively young audience, um, some knowledge about theory of relativity um, as simple as I can but as mathematically rigorous as is possible. So I will always try to do it exactly the same fashion as mathematics was built, like certain axioms and then you derive from these axioms whatever is necessary. There are different ways of derivation. You can do it simply, you can do it more sophisticated way. Um, there are some fundamental articles by Einstein uh, which he published uh, in the beginning of 20th century, in 1905, um, which basically explain his ideas about time, space, and special theory of relativity. Um, I read them and I cannot say that I kind of completely feel comfortable with how he explained it. So I was trying maybe to, um, to find a way to explain it maybe a little bit simpler 
or maybe a little bit more mathematically. Uh, so that's actually my purpose to start this course, which is called the Theory of Relativity, Special Theory of Relativity. I call it Relativity for All um, because I hope that whatever I will try to convey will be understood by um, the reasonably educated person like in a good high school, for example, or if you wish, on the level of my Math 14 and Physics 14 courses, which I have on this website. So if people are familiar with these two courses, I mean with material which is explained in these courses, you can get it somewhere else, whatever. But if it's, it's there, this basic knowledge, which I consider to be the knowledge of a, you know, educated teenager, um, I think it would be um, not very difficult to cover the material of uh, uh, special theory of relativity. The only thing is, certain conclusions which we come up with might be strange, like time is shrinking or length is shrinking or lengthening or something like this. These are kind of counterintuitive, but mathematics supports it and uh, people believe in it, basically. Yes, there were obviously experimental confirmation, uh, co confirmations of uh, theory of relativity and uh, it's generally accepted as the true way to uh, approach uh, our nature. Um, but still, it seems to be strange in certain circumstances. It does contradict our common sense. Okay, on this, uh, what else I wanted to say? Uh, basically, that's it. This is kind of an introductory lecture, um, and uh, I will start, starting from the next lecture, I will start explaining certain concepts which are at the foundation of uh, special theory of relativity, um, and then we will see how it goes. So, thank you very much, and good luck.